Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. We would like to get your opinion on two options. First, do you like option A or option B? Hmm, I can tell you the bearings that are inside, such as this one, prefer option A. What's happened in option B is this cap was over tightened, pushing the arm into the bearing. This bearing inside here has an inner race that should turn free and easy, and it does. But when you over tighten the arm, it mashes into that bearing and binds it. So this is only a light adjustment to bring the arm over to the bearing, but not crush the bearings. The compression slotted crank actually shares a lot in common with the threadless headset. Here we have a top cap, here we have a crank cap. Here we have a stem, here we have the crank arm, here we have the slot with pinch bolts, and here are the pinch bolts. Here we have a steering column, here we have the spindle. Here we need a light adjustment to remove knocking, and here we need a light adjustment to remove knocking. Too much tension here causes binding, and too much tension here causes binding. So, the adjustment is just finger tight. We put the tool in the cap, just a couple of fingers will do us, about four inch pounds, sometimes not that much. You bring the crank arm over to the bearings, but not into the bearings. Then secure the pinch bolts to the manufacturer's torque, check for play, and you're done. For a full walkthrough of how to remove and install the compression slotted style two-piece crank, we have a video in the repair help section of parktool.com. Thanks for watching this week's Tech Tuesday.